What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and I want to welcome you back for another one of my album reviews. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but of course I have got to do one for the newest second album from Taeyeon, sec te the second solo album from Taeyeon because I absolutely love her solo music and this is no different. I really, really love it. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna you know just go through this we're gonna, as always gonna just kind of like generally talk about the album not get into any sort of specifics with the songs and stuff because you know I kind of want you guys to listen to it on your own you know hear what I have to say if you haven't listened to it and then maybe get maybe that gets you interested but uh, first off I want to say that I've gotten a comment or there was a comment that was posted on my video that said that there were some that there were a lot of people or some people that don't specifically that don't like this album and you know I can kind of see why considering the releases that she's had previously um or her solo and then the station track because this is completely drastically dramatically different from her previous solo releases and you know if people are are fans of her for that reason for her you know her, her debut album and the the station track then i can completely understand why they wouldn't like this song and this album because it just definitely is not the same in any way obviously it's not the same in any way um you know where previously she was singing you know those ballad or vocal based songs which were just absolutely stunning and beautiful beautiful these are you know more edm synth pop from the promotion song why all the way to the end and you know that's not bad that's good you know, there's, a, there's a difference right and some people are gonna like one and other people are gonna like the other and you know i just I like both of them. I really, really like both albums a lot. Definitely, they're in my top list of albums um, without a doubt. So, you know, of course, like I said, this album is more EDM synth pop than the previous one, and I really do like that. It's a, you know, and I, and I like the, and I like the change. Like, you could do the same thing, you know, like I, like I say, or the general rule of thumb for me is like three releases before you kind of do a little slight adjustment in your concept and sound, and, you know, they just went for it just like it's your debut and you had a solo single for through the station and then now we're going to do something dramatically different but it is in line with what sm entertainment has been releasing as far as like their sound that they seem to have shifted towards as a company recently so it's not like it would be something completely you know unexpected if you really think about it Although, if you were expecting some more music similar to in line with what she's done previously as a solo artist, it's probably going to be unexpected, or it would be unexpected. But this album is just kind of like the other one, like the previous one, full of songs that are dramatically different and, you know, are awesome in their own way for different reasons, you know, and... I, I mean, I I really, 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 really like it. Like, there's a there's a song in there. I like all these songs, like equally. I would say, and they're like all like instantly favorite songs, if that makes any sense. I really, really like it. There's they are so much that they're so so different, and you know, it's it's just it's just a really, really, really awesome album. It's really awesome. That's all I got. I mean, that's that's basically it. Like, there isn't really any any moment in this song, in this album that I can like specifically point out that I like. Actually, there is one. My favorite song in this album has to be, I think, "Good Thing." I the song is 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 awesome. But then again, every other song, like I just said, is like equally as good, but for completely different reasons. So you know, whatever. Like, if you want high energy, you got some high energy. If you want some like. It isn't really any low energy, but if you want something that's a little bit lower in the energy scale and more chill and relaxed, and you got that, you got that duet with Dean or that song featuring Dean. You got another song that I think features uh, Hyoyeon, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, which has got a sick rap verse in it. It's really good. See, and I said we weren't going to get into specifics, but I've gotten sidetracked. Um, but it's 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 awesome. You know, and if I was gonna, if you were gonna ask me specifically how I would rate this album versus her debut album, and I would say I'm not gonna, I will not, I refuse because they're they're different. You can't compare them. You know, it's, it's like comparing apples and oranges. They're, I mean, like they might they, you know, whatever. It's like them. You just you you just can't. Um, but I would say we're gonna compare it to the debut or the solo debut album from Luna, right? Free somebody and all that. 
very, very similar, obviously coming from the same company with the same sound, the same direction, the same, you know, just genre or whatever. And that, but that being said, there's still, those two albums are still, you know, definitely different in, in you know, pretty dramatic way. So, you know, they have their own vibe. They're distinct and they belong to the individual that they belong to. So there's that. Um, and of course, I'm not going to rate the, one of either of those albums one over the other either, because again, they're like distinct and different, although yet the same kind of genre but whatever the thing that you're here for this video for or the reason that you're watching this video for this terrible i think review i have no idea <laughs> at this point um because i've just gone on rambling and stuff but my rating basically how would i spend my money on this album i just knocked over a tripod and that is like of course i'm gonna buy this of course i will naturally i'm gonna buy this and you know that just basically goes along and along the lines of like there has not been a single album from sm entertainment that they have released this year or since tay on solo debut that i haven't said or that i haven't regarded for myself as a must buy so they're doing something good they're doing something right and i hope that they keep it up because i i mean like i don't want to give them all of my money because like i want to keep as much money as possible but if they keep making good good stuff then they're gonna they, they're gonna have my money and i think that think it's fair they work for it they deserve it they should have it you know that's the thing. So I don't even know if that was coherent or anything like that. I feel like this was a terrible album review that made absolutely no sense. That was more about comparisons and stuff than the actual album itself. But hey, you know, this is just like the direction I wanted to go for this video. And I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it was good. Maybe it was bad. I don't know. Let me know what you thought about the maybe this video. Let me know what you thought about this video or the and the album and whatever. Let me know what your favorite song was. Whatever you want to do down over in the comments or through social media on Twitter or Facebook. And if you want to see more videos like this and just in general stay updated with all of my uploads, subscribe so you don't miss a single video. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. We learn kind of like grew K-pop for the, you know, the second generation or whatever. You know, we're really based on, you know, the the, the, the energy and the, the tempo and, you know, the energy and the tempo and the feel and just that stuff, right? Which is great. And this, kind of, this song kind of has it. It kind of has it a little bit. Uh, especially in the chorus, which is like, I don't know if you remember, but it is my favorite part of the song.